Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's presentation. Today will be very interesting. We're going to talk about online advertising. There's uh, there's a little article that you can read. And to prepare for class, it talks about the history. We're going to talk about all these little things and uh, this whole world of online advertising. Some of it is really good, you know, for business, but some of it can be quite annoying for everyone. And uh, we will discuss this because it really is part of our world. It's part of business. It's a very, very important part of business. And, um, and we need to know, we need to know this and at least have the vocabulary and be able to talk about advertising. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's get in, into it right here. All right, everyone. So this is your study guide, US Business English. We will practice right now. I will give you all the vocabulary that you'll need for the real business, real English, and you will get real results. If you practice this, then you come to class prepared where I will ask you some questions and you'll work with your partner so that you can, you can excel. You can excel and you can become the best business person that you can be. Okay, so online advertising. So we talk about advertising, we talk about the industry, the advertising industry. Okay, now we don't say unadvertising, we say an advertisement or an ad, okay, or an advert. So advert is a little bit more British, ad is more American, okay, but that's just ads. So if they are on the internet, they are online ads, okay? So, so we have that. So we have, uh, we talked about advertising, the industry. We have advertisers, they are the people who do the advertising, advertisers. Okay, it's a big, big business. And if you are good at advertising, then you can make a lot of money because right now with the internet, basically that's where advertising takes place. Okay, that's where that's, you know, nobody buys, uh, buys, well, some people do, you know, newspaper ads or yellow pages ads, I guess some people still do, but pretty much everything is online. Now we're going to talk about a little bit about reactions to, to, to an ad. So how do you react to ads? When you see these ads, how do you react? Do you click on the ads? How often? So click, click on, okay. Click on ads. Of course there are the industries advertising, but more generally is the marketing. Now, some people believe that this can be intrusive. Intrusive is when it goes inside your world. They, you know, they invade your space. That's intrusive, you know, because they, they know what you're doing. They know what you like and they, they, they come into your world and they know everything and they sell to you. Okay. So they know how to sell. So that's, some people believe that's intrusive. So surfing, surfing on the internet, it gets a nice expression. If people are just going around the internet, they are surfing. Ad blockers. Okay. So this is a uh, software or maybe even, um, you know, extensions, you know, and different, different little plugins, uh, and they block the ads. So an advertising campaign. Okay. So that's when you, you know, when you have, when you launch an advertising campaign launch, meaning it's a program. It is, it is a set of steps with clear goals and clear, and typically it lasts a long time. Okay. So it's not just one ad, but it's a campaign. So, you know, you have some social media, we'll talk later about the types of online ads, but you have some video ads, some uh, social media ads some banner ads. Um, now emojis, that's a big thing. So do you use emo emojis at work? What, what is the role of emojis in today's communication, especially business communication, okay? And in online ads, okay? Do they work? Do you see them? Targeted ads, when targeted is when you target something, you focus on it. So that's, you have a goal. So for example, there are some targeted ads for, you know, young people, targeted ads for businessmen like yourself, you know, for travelers, so that's when you want a specific audience, a specific group of people that you want to see your ad. So unethical, 
Okay, so ethical is when you do the right thing. Unethical is when you do the wrong thing. Do you think any of this is unethical? What about tracking? What do you know about tracking? Track is, tracking is when they see what you're doing, they follow you, they follow you, they track you. Oh, this guy uh, went to this website. Oh, that, this guy's following this type of, um, this type of thing. So they track you and then, um, you know, they sell your information to advertisers. Okay, so this is, uh, so these, we have some types of online ads. We'll talk about these pop-up ads, okay. You know, these, uh, they were very popular a few years ago. Um, right now, I've still seen a few of them, but uh, it's not, ver not very common. Banner ads, okay, so those are the big ones, the banner to display ads that you see when you go to different, uh, different websites. So you have the video ads, when you go to, to, to YouTube, for example, you see these little video ads. Okay, now there's a little bit more, uh, you know, more subtle, the native ads native or native, depending uh, how you, you, you pronounce it. So the native ads are the one that seems like it's content. So it's like an article or a video or something that is, uh, it looks like normal content from the web, from the web page or the channel that you are watching. So it looks like content, but it's really an ad. So social media ad, okay, on Instagram, on TikTok. You know, all of these things. Um, ooh, okay, so one second. All right, we're back. We're back, sorry about that. My alarm went off. All right, so here we go. All right, so we have, uh, you know, social media ad, you know, homepage takeover ad. That's a little bit more specific. You know, that's basically if you want a whole page to yourself. So you go on a web page and everything on the web page is for one company or for one product again, the dis and display the display ad. Okay, so display is like to show. Okay, so here's a little uh, YouTube video you could watch. You can click on this and you can watch it. Then we also have a little bit uh, a brief history of online advertising. So it's an adapted article, you know, for, uh, for English learners, you know, so it's, uh, it's about a B2 level, maybe C1 level. And it's very interesting, so I definitely recommend uh, reading it because we're going to discuss a lot of things uh, that are connected to that, okay? So here it is, you know, it's, uh, I pasted it, you know, sorry if it's not the, the, mo the cleanest one, but, uh, but anyway, you have here, and then here at the end, you have a vocabulary exercise, okay? So you will go through the article, and you will find these uh, these words that are underlined, okay? And you want to match them and put them here. Okay, so this is what they mean. So paragraphs one, uh, sections one to one to three, that's here. One to three is on the on the left column, okay, and sections four to six are on the right side, okay? And so basically all you have to do is just look at the underlined words and then write it next to the definition. Okay, everyone, so I'm not gonna take any more of your time. We, you have a little bit of reading to do. You all got a video and you got a little vocabulary exercise, okay? And then in class, we will, we will have an amazing discussion you know, and we'll talk about all these things from emojis to reactions to advertising, where you can also plan some advertise, uh, you know, some ads for your, for your company, maybe. Okay, you can share some ideas with your uh, classmates. So it'll be a, it'll be a great session. Okay, so I will see you. I will see you in class. Okay. All right, everyone, take care.